How's it going folks? Welcome back to the channel. Keith here from Commander Hoop Celtic. If this is your first time viewing the channel, if you can press that subscribe button, notifications bell, and a comment below as well at the end of the video would be really appreciated. So it's been a reproductive day at Glasgow Celtic. We got a contract extension of Lee Griffiths and we got a new signing in as well from Sheffield Wednesday. Our last signing was from Sheffield Wednesday as well. Liam Shaw. So this is going to be interesting. Um, always say is really good. I can't pronounce his name properly. I do apologise some, but um, I watched his interview there with Celtic TV. He speaks highly well of Ange. He um, Ange gave me his input of his vision at Celtic. He wants to develop young players, bring them through, give them that taste of European football, good derby experience, nurture them, and get them good professional athletes in higher leagues down down the line in the future but the, mo the most important is he says he's in a Celtic he's a 20 year old striker he has Nigerian blood him he was born in Holland and he's been living in England since he was five so he came through the ASC Academy of Wimbledon and then obviously went to Sheffield Wednesday had played over 26 times for Sheffield Wednesday so what the type of player we're getting is he can play right back he's six foot two he can play centre back and he can play defensive midfielder as I said in previous videos we're struggling with defensive midfield I know we bring Shaw in from Sheffield Wednesday we have Sorrow we have Beaton in there as well but we need more grind a bit of rock in that defensive midfield department I know Brown's gone but we're still looking to fix that regards to the captaincy there's a lot of talk of Callum McGregor is the favourite to get the captaincy we have to see what happens our fourth pre-season game is next Wednesday in Newport against Sheffield Wednesday. So these two boys that we got from Sheffield, they'll have a chance to go against their old predecessors. Be interesting. But I want to talk about Lee Griffiths. I came out yesterday and said, look, it, we need to know what's going on. Is he coming or is he going? He um, unfollowed Celtic yesterday. He's saying there was a new challenge coming ahead. And then a lot of people were jumping on the bandwagon because his contract was up last night that he was, wasn't signing a new deal. I just want to let, it, let this clear. I'm, I'm good friends with the Griffiths family and um, I heard the news at 10 o'clock this morning and I can openly say that. I didn't put up on social media because I didn't want to make a shit store of it from my side but um, I decided to put it up literally five minutes before it was announced how much of a gobshite did I look. But um, what, I'm, what I'm looking forward to with Griff, I've came out this many times to say, Griffiths has scored 123 goals for Celtic. He's been a part of them trebles that we've won been a part of our domestic success he scored over 38 goals one season a lot of Celtic fans still have the jury out from still think that he's um, affected up his chances that he's on a he's on a sympathy now that we keep extending his contract which is a lot of bullshit he's one of the best Scottish strikers he's seen what he done against England a couple of years back he should have been in the Euro squad with Steve Clark will regret he has the pedigree to go on and score 30 goals the next season if he gets his head right Gets his fitness right, which has been working really hard on his fitness. He's been doing a lot of training. Even when them boys finished at the end of the season, he was constantly in the gym, working to get himself to that level. And he deserves the contract. I don't care if people are going to say, oh, he doesn't deserve the contract. He's this and that. He doesn't play enough. He should, if he was playing enough, he would have been in the Scotland squad. The past is the past. Let's look to the future. Year contract. He can still do in the big games against the Rangers against the hips and against the hearts. Mark my word, Lee Griffiths is going to be the player that gets us that victory at Easter Road that we haven't won since 2014 in the league. He's going to be the man to score against his former club. I thought he was on the way out, but there was something in the back of my mind saying, keep him, why not? A lot of people are saying Edward is going to stay. I can't see Edward staying. If we're going to be smart and business about this, let him go cash in because what if he stays and he's and we don't get European football Champions League football he's going to be in, having a huff in August or a, a huff in a couple of weeks time when we, if we lose to Moishland what, what are we going to expect then the valuation goes down of him so sell him we'll get more strikers in we get new blood in people are hungry young players and get get them playing for this badge because look at Ivan Moore Dawson Edward at Celtic he's had his great times some amazing moments that double treble Double them that goal at Ibrox, that three two goal, the goal at Ibrox when we beat them two one. You know, there's been some great moments, European goals, 
fantastic. He's been a fantastic servant to Celtic, but his heart's not in it. He wants to, he wants to challenge himself, so leave him off. If he does stay at the club and change his attitude and likes Ange's philosophy of football, attacking side of football where he can get more out of himself and get the valuation up, keep him. Keep him. But in my eyes, let him go. Just let him go because we need to know who wants to go forward with this club. We don't want, I won't come say it, where it's dead wood. We don't, we want ambitious players. And that's what we need. We need ambitious players, ambitious characters on the pitch, ambitious players in that dressing room that's hyped up for these derby games and they'll be smashed around like we were last season. We need, we need to take this lead back. It may take next season, season after, but we want to see the style of football changing. We want to see the formation changing, the plan B, which we didn't have last season. And that's what we need. If Lee's going to be playing up there on his own, let him up there. But he has a lot. He has, he has what, exactly five weeks? Well, less than five weeks to get the forced, get the, get his tray of fitness in for the forced away game this season. In his favourite place, he loves scoring, Tyne Castle. So let me know what you think of Lee Griffiths still. I'm satisfied, but I still think He's gonna he's gonna prove that that was wrong. There is gonna be people that would disagree with me. I completely understand your a voice opinion. I can understand that. I can understand the comments. I'm not here to argue with it, people. I'm here to give you my honest opinion. That's what it's, the channel's there. But um, let me know what you think. You think he didn't deserve it with the lack of football he playing the last three years? Is that in your mind? You think that we're screwing on because he's, it's Lee Griffiths and he's Scottish and um, Celtic don't want it. Celtic didn't want to pay out anything less for him. Because at the end of the day, his contract was up. So he could have went. Could have went to Hibs. Could have went to Aberdeen. Could have went to a club down in England. He has a potential. He can hit the free kicks. Cracking shots outside the box. His link with pay. Strikers. He's walk right. And he wants to win. He's a fucking born winner. A born winner. That we don't have a lot of them on the pitch at the moment. So Lee, I hope you proved them wrong. I really do hope you proved them wrong because... As I said, I'm backing you. LG9, I'm definitely backing you. And I'm looking forward to the new boy coming in. As he, he's in the doors, let him train with the team. Let him get used to Lennox Town. Let him get used to the style of football. As you said, he likes getting into crunching tackles, pleasing the fans. We'll get the fans back in the stadium soon and roll on the new training gear. I'm going to get the away jersey in the next couple of weeks as well. So, folks, the content will keep coming. It's going to come slowly because... New job is out and I'm enjoying it. So I'll speak to you all soon. Subscribe to the channel and I'll take care. All the very best.